So let's talk salient. Um, the salient WordPress theme is probably my absolute favorite theme to use. It is so easy to use in the background. It's extremely intuitive. The client feedback that I get is that, you know, they found it really, really easy to edit and update and use in the back end, uh, which is why I love it so much. The only downside for Salient as compared to um, Bridge is that Bridge has got 200 demos to choose from and Salient has um, 18. So that's probably the only, you know, negative that I see. However, I have actually just noticed that Salient have um, included in their latest um, update something called the Salient Studio, which allows you to add templates um, for individual pages. So even though the demos um, only come with 18 demos, if you want to add a different looking internal page or element um, that they've already set up for you, you can do that which is actually one of the reasons why I love Salient so much is if you're starting from scratch or if you're wanting a lot of flexibility to be able to add and remove different elements and different sections to your website, it's much, much easier to do in Salient. So the Salient Studio um, has got 150 different templates uh, from you know a banner template, uh, showing off your work, a call to action, um, you know, two images side by side. So it will import um, this anywhere into any of your pages, which gives you so much flexibility. So you may not have 200 demos to choose from, but you have 150 templates that you can add into one of the 18 um, demos. So when I say an install, like a demo or an installable demo, what Salient actually does is gives you, not only does it give you the pages that are showing in this demo, but for example, let's come down and I'll show you what I mean. If we go to, uh, which one is their default one? I think it's Ascend is one of their default ones that they've had. So when you install the default of Ascend. So you get multiple about pages. So it won't just import the one, it'll import all three. So you get to choose, do you want to keep the about me basic or the about me creative? You get all of these portfolio styles. You get all of these feature pages. You get the different shop, you know, the different blogs. So you get a lot more in the demos. You don't just get the four or five pages that um, usually come with the demo, you get everything. Now the downside to that is you then have to go and delete all of the pages that you don't want, but you can bulk delete. It's not not that big a problem. So it's, it's just really flexible when you get a demo from Salient that you get all of the different home pages and you get to choose from them. And then if you're not exactly happy with uh, one particular homepage, you can add in one of those, uh, you know, section templates, I suppose you'd call it to add on to the demo that you've got. So that makes it like super flexible. So as well as having all the demos and the usual uh, bits and pieces that a theme has, uh, it does have the Visual Composer, which I've talked about before, which allows you to drop and drag and change those internal pages. You can use Google fonts, you can use icons. Um, it is responsive for mobile. So it's, you know, it's got all the bells and whistles that you want. Um, the one thing that I want to show you is the back end of the website and just show you the difference of, uh, I suppose, the simplicity of, of what it's like to use Salient. So my website for Flux Digital is actually based on Salient. So if you have a look at my homepage with the sections, I've got images that move in and things like that. Um, I actually didn't use a template for this. I created it from scratch, um, taking inspiration from other sites, uh, you know, around the internet. I was like, oh, I really like the way that image looks and the blocks look. So I was able to really customize um, my website, just taking inspiration and figuring out how I can build it using Salient. So when you come into the back end and you go into the Salient options, it's like every other theme, you can update your colors, you can update your typography, 
uh, change what's in the footer, what's in the header, a call to action at the bottom of the website. You've got different settings for your portfolio, your blog, your contact page, all of that. I go through all of this in detail in the course that I have. But what I wanted to show you, so this is fairly simple. This is where all of your settings live. And then when you're in an individual page, this is my home page. It's just that tiny bit clearer to use um, than Bridge is. If you've watched the video on what an internal page of Bridge looks like, you'll just see that this is a bit clearer. If I've got two columns, you can see the two columns side by side. They're not like under each other, which Bridge is, which is a bit confusing. Uh, so it's very clear um, how I've laid out the site and what elements I've actually got in it. So I can then manipulate each element um, the way I want it to. I can put background images in just like you can with all other themes. But when you come down to the bottom of the website, you don't have the hundreds of individual page options. So there's not that extra layer. You can just say whether it's full screen or not, and you can change a couple um, of the header option. So you can have a, a, a different header for the top of your pages. So that's all there is. So when you import a demo, you know that there's the settings in salient and there's a couple of settings in the page. You're not kind of scrounging around to figure out where you might want to change something, which I just tend to find that you do in Bridge. So if you're starting off um, new, if you've never used WordPress before, or if you want to revamp an existing website, or if you want some real flexibility on building out the website exactly the way you want without using. So the chances are with these 18 demos that you have that you might not find one that is exactly what you want. Whereas with Bridge, there's 200. So you should be able to find one that's exactly what you want. So if you want a template and you don't want to have to change much at all, well, then maybe Bridge might be for you. If you see one that's exactly what you want, then you know that might be for you. But if you want a bit more flexibility, then Salient might be the theme for you. With Flux Digital, we offer three different packages with creating a website using the Salient theme. So we have a DIY option where you can follow the lessons and do it completely by yourself. Then we offer some DIY um, with a bit of tech help. So we load the Salient theme in for you. We install WordPress. We do a couple of um, plugins for you. We install the theme, the demo. Then we give it to you and you can log into our course uh, for Salient and you can learn how to update your images and your copy yourself. Or we've got a done for you service where you can um, give us your copy and give us your images and we'll hand it back to you already done. So I hope that information helps you decide whether you want to go with the salient theme. I cannot highly recommend it enough and you can always get help from us if you need.